All right, thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. Uh, in this video lesson, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the critical angle equation. Um, so this is uh, an equation that comes up when we talk about refraction and total internal reflection. So as we take a look at this first example here, um, it says find the critical angle for light traveling from water into air. So there's a couple of things that we know. Uh, we know that we're going from water, and they give us the index of refraction for water, and into air. And the thing that we are trying to solve is the critical angle. Okay. So as we said, we know two things. We know that we're traveling from water and into air. So water is our first substance. So N1 is 1.333. And air is our second substance. So N2 becomes 1.0 because air is always 1.0. And what we want to find is theta C. That's um, our symbol for critical angle. If you take a look to your right in green, um, there's our equation. Sine of theta C equals N2 divided by N1. So at this point, we just have to plug in our values. So we don't know theta c, so sine of theta c is going to equal 1.0 divided by 1.333. We're going to go ahead and do that calculation. So sine of theta c equals um, 0 0.75. We have to keep in mind that all we want to solve for is theta c. So we have to get rid of our sine function. And so in order to do that, to get rid of a sine function, is to take the inverse sine. So we're going to take the inverse sine, so that's sine to the negative 1, of 0 0.75. And as long as your calculator is in degrees mode, you're going to end up with the correct answer. So in this case, our correct answer comes out to be 48.5 degrees. That is our critical angle. Now, that's one form of this um, question for this equation. There might be an, a, a question where it asks you for the index of refraction. So let's take a quick look at um, one of these examples. So in this case, um, they tell us that the critical angle from a red gemstone into air is 32 degrees. And we know that we're going from a gemstone into air and we want to know what is the index of refraction of the gemstone, okay? So a couple things. <clears throat> we know our critical angle this time, so theta C equals 32 degrees. And we know air. Air is our second substance, so N2 is 1.0. We're trying to find N1, because we're trying to find the index of refraction of our gemstone. <clears throat> so this case, as we start plugging these values into our, the exact same equation, we're going to end up with sine of 32 degrees equals 1.0 divided by N1. So we'll find what the sine of 32 degrees is. In this case, it's uh, 0 0.53 equals 1.0 over N1. This time, we're going to end up cross-multiplying. So 0 0.53 times N1 gives us 0 0.53 N1. That's going to equal 1 times 1. So to get N1 all by itself, we'll divide by 0 0.53 on both sides. So N1 is going to end up equaling 1.89 as our index of refraction. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, this video lesson has helped you solve your own critical angle problem. Thanks for tuning in.